In this video, I'm going to give a more in-depth overview of the flywheel dashboard and some of the important settings that you need to be familiar with. And one thing is adding collaborators. You can do this very easily. Just add in the person's email and click add to site and it'll add them to your FTP account. It'll give them access to be able to kind of manage some things and you can kind of set the roles and stuff. But as long as you're the owner, don't transfer billing to that person. You still can retain ownership of it and delete them if you need to. But it's really, really easy to do that. All right. And if you go to add-ons, there's many different things that you can do with add-ons and they'll be adding more things in the future. But notably is SSL support, which is secure socket layer, which is for like if you're going to take payment credit card information on your website, adding a CDN if you have lots of images and different things and you want it on a central net, uh, distribution network that will be able to basically make your site even faster than it is by preloading the content on servers around the globe so that it's a little bit easier for users to access it. Or you can even set up multi-site, which is basically how you can set up multiple WordPress installs all on the same actual website. And you pay $10 a month for these add-ons, depending on which plan that you're on. But if you need something like that, it's actually a very good value add-on. Next, I'm going to take you to the backup section. And what you can do is they automatically create backups every night. But what you can do is you can actually create a manual backup. And you can put in a description here if you would like about, you know, let's say it's, you know, backup. All right, a lot of times I do backups before updates. And then click Create Backup. And it's that easy. Your site is being completely backed up, top to bottom, and in just a moment you'll see that it'll actually refresh and the site will have been backed up. And if for some reason you work on the site, something goes wrong, something goes haywire, and you need to restore, all you have to do is click the Restore button. But while that's doing the backup, I'm actually gonna go over to the Advanced tab. Here there's a couple options. One is flush cache. And this you don't have to do very often, but if something just kind of seems like it's kind of catching on your site or you've making changes and it didn't really show up or seems a little laggy or something, this can be something you can do. And Flywheel is really good about their caching. They're actually optimized for WordPress because WordPress is all they do. That is their speciality. And so they really take care of a lot of that for you. But if you need to, you can go in here and manually flush it. And also if you need to enable debug mode or another thing that you can do is add staging to the site and this is very interesting if you enable staging what it will do is create basically a duplicate of your site and you can go and make changes on the staging site and then if you like what the changes that you made and didn't break everything <laughs> then you can actually hit move changes to live site and then what it'll do is it'll move everything from the staging server to the live server and so it's really good for experimenting putting content out there changing pages layout doing changes to your website doing updates for your site this really a good thing to have and it's a really awesome awesome feature if you need to access the database information you can hover over that and click manage uh, and that's really kind of the overall of the advanced tab if we go back to the backups tab now you'll see that the restore button is there so if for instance I had messed something up on the site and I'm like oh my goodness I need to restore I can go back in here and hit the restore button and it'll say do you want to uh, restore yes I want to back uh, restore from this backup and also it gives you the option to back up the current site before restoring and this is actually really good because there's been times that you know a site went down or something I'm like ah oh, I messed something up and I created a even though the site was down I was able to create a backup of the site restore to a previous version that actually you know worked and then contact Flywheel and they were able to re either retrieve my content from this backup before our restored back or trying to figure out the details of kind of what went wrong. And so that's always a good option to do as well. In this case, I already just did a backup, so I don't need to do that. And then all you need to do is enter your Flywheel password and then hit restore backup. And again, this will take a few seconds to a minute, sometimes a couple minutes if your site's rather large, but it's actually really quick and it'll restore back to that point and have your site back up and working in no time. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go to the billing tab. And what you can do is manage the different options here. And also if you have been paying for Flywheel, it will have all of your receipts here that you can go and download for your hosting invoices and different things like that. And once you're ready to actually launch your site and pay for your site, what you can do is click the complete billing button. And this gives you several options. If you're paying for the site, you can click pay now and it'll take you to the screen where you can actually choose which plan that you want to go with. Or if you'd like, you can click transfer to my client, put the client's information in there. You can select, you know, which plan that they really should be using. And then you can select the add-ons that they need to purchase if they need those, add additional notes and send it to the client. They'll get an email, they put in their credit card information and boom, 
they're paying for the site. It's completely handled seamlessly. It's a really great system. And the back end is beautiful. And this process is really, really easy. One of the easiest I've ever seen. Okay, let's go back to the backup tab and see if that restore is done. Yes. So it restored back to it and it still has that backup there. If I wanted to do another backup, you know, obviously I can do that here. And you can do as many backups as you like. They actually do a daily backup for you. So you don't even have to worry about doing it. If you don't do much to the site, you know, and you just want to rely on the daily backup, that's fine. But I recommend going in and doing a backup before you do like major updates or plugin updates or things like that, changes to the site. It's always, always, always a good idea to go in and do a backup first. Going back to the overview, there was one other thing I wanted to show you on the homepage here, and that is the domain management. And so what you can do is you can add a domain. And this is if you want to take your site live. So if I had purchased a domain name, I could put it in here. So if I put in, in example.com as my domain name, it automatically suggests that I add the www.example.com as well. And you actually need to do that. If you have those, then obviously you would need to do that for both of those. Um, and so what that does is it automatically configures it such that if either of, someone types in either of those domain names and they come to this hosting server, it's automatically going to recognize that these are both pointing to the same site. And then obviously once you've got it set up, you can click primary. Now I don't have example.com, but if that was my domain name, I would set it as primary, add in the www dot and click add domain. In the meantime though, we still have our learnwp.flywheelsites.com as our temporary domain name. And you can hover over it and change it if you need to, different things like that. Another important note, and this right here is probably one of the most important things for going live, is the IP address. So this is the IP address that this site is located at. And what you will do is when you go into your domain registrar and update your DNS settings to point your domain, this is the IP address that you would want to use. And I cover that in a different video, but this is where you would find the IP address to put in your domain registrar information. And now this is not required, but if you really want more advanced control of your site and you want to go into the FTP, then you can access F FTP using your flywheel username and password. Very simple, very easy, regardless of how ever many sites that you have, you just use your one flywheel username and password and it's located at sftp.flywheelsites.com and it's really easy to get that set up and I really like their FTP access. It's secure and it's really easy to manage if you have a bunch of different websites or if you just have one. It's segmented into folders and really easy to keep up with. Overall, I really do believe that Flywheel has done an excellent job with setting up their back end. They're always making improvements, always upgrading, and they really do have a clean, easy to use, intuitive hosting experience. And there you have it. That's a complete overview of the Flywheel hosting experience. And as you can see, it's really, really easy, very intuitive, and I hope you found this very useful.